have decided to start off 2019 with one of my favorite tunes that I learned in 2018. Uh, this is a tune I learned at a session. I had a rare night off in Boston and I went out to the Burren, yay Burren crowd, uh, with no warning whatsoever and spent a glorious night playing tunes with some really fantastic people. There were a lot of great tunes thrown around that night, but this one jumped out at me like you wouldn't believe. And I asked them, what is this tune? And they told me I went home and looked it up and was not at all surprised to find out that it comes from the pen of the amazing Michael McGoldrick, who's uh, just an astounding whistle and pipes player. Uh, he's from Manchester, England. I think he's one of the greatest tunesmiths living today. Uh, his, his tunes are just phenomenal. Um, you'd probably call this an Irish tune even though he's English. I'll let you guys sort that one out. I just know it's awesome. Uh, this is a slip jig and it's called Farewell to Wally Range. I'm sure you already have your instruments, you know the deal. Let's do it. Okay, so this is a slip jig, uh, which I suddenly realized we haven't done a slip jig before on Tune of the Month. How did that happen? Michael McGoldrick to the rescue. Uh, here comes the slip jig. Now, if you're new to Irish music, a slip jig is one of those things that's just like, takes a brain figuring out. It's a little like being new to uh, Scottish music and having the stress bag be the thing that Nobody else has anything quite like it. So, slip jigs are in the jig family. The technical difference is that a jig jig is in 6-8, which is duple meter. Dump a dump, do a big little, big little, big little, big little, one, two, one, two, right? We're used to that feel. A slip jig is in 9-8, triple meter. Dun da dun da da dun da dun da dun da da a big little big little big little one a two a three a one a two a three. Okay, so when I first started playing slip jigs, people explained that to me. It meant nothing. If that means something to you, great. If it doesn't, don't worry. I had to be rescued by the great Liz Carroll, who, when I was around 12 years old, said to me, "Look, here's all you got to do. You hear a slip jig, you say to yourself." by the band of beer, by the band of beer, by the band of beer, and it works every time. And lo, it does. Um, I still say and hear that every time I listen to or play a slip jig, and it works just fine. So you can either think about the math or you can think about Liz Carroll. You win either way. All right, so let's check this out. I'm gonna slow the tune down. We are in F sharp minor, the relative of A major, three sharps. By the band of beer. <laughs> than it is to think about too much. So I'm gonna recommend that you do a lot of rewinding and play along with, but I'll also break down just a tiny bit. I have this little theme thing, right? This rhythm. Those are really the first 
there's two measures, right? Two by the band, two beers. And... dips up. Do it again. And now I have my little ending or turn around. It goes either way. Now, that little chromatic, if you look up this tune, it's not usually going to be written into any versions that you, you get on the internet. I learned it listening to Michael play it on the internet. And he does this little chromatic thing and it's so awesome, it's all I do anymore. One low two, high two, slide it back down. It's just so awesome, why would you do anything else? Do the turnaround again. that's a great time to put in a roll. If you're new to Tune of the Month and or to Irish music and you don't know what a roll is, don't worry about it. We've taught them uh, in various Tune of the Month videos of yore. You can go back and check those out um, or just imitate the sound. Right now, I'm going to assume you know what a roll is and that you're putting them in on those long notes because that's what McGoldrick expects us to do. Okay, so you now have the whole A section. Check it out. Two dips. Turn around. Chromatic. Two dips. and then it got weird. So the, the second turnaround, instead of doing the chromatic, you have to get yourself up ready for the B section. It goes like this. And that is the start of the B section. It rolls straight in. All right, let's try it one more time. The whole A section, two dips, turn around with the chromatic, Two dips, turn around, go up. Ready, and... as you need to get this really under your fingers, but for now I am moving on to the B section. The glorious B section up high. and then a turnaround and a theme and a turnaround that goes back to the A. So, the theme, uh, in the A section we had dips, in the B section we have waves, yeah! Do you feel that? Yeah, it does like, yeah. Big waves, I'll do the waves slowly. Anytime I have a long note, of course you'd do that. Here's the turnaround. Yeah. It's 
one of those scale with a hole in it situations, I'm never playing my third finger on the A string. It's the same as if I were to play. Right? The same as if I were to play a B minor scale, but I just never play that third finger. And that's what gives it that pentatonic sound, that feel that's so open and stinking awesome for this tune, is that you're missing that third finger. Okay, so that's all the elements of the B section. Probably doesn't make sense until we put it together. Let's do the waves. I was sorry, to the A section. Right? So you get yourself back down to that F sharp to start the dips. Alright, let's put the whole B section together. And I will actually go back and hook into the A section because it's so circular this tune. So we'll play the B's and back to the A's. Be ready for it. Starts with the waves. section, all that means is you need a little more mileage feeling this tune, by the band of beer, by the band of beer, and so you keep saying that to yourself as you play and you'll always lock into the slip jig. Now, feeling the circularness of this tune is a really great way to get comfortable with the slip jig feel because a lot of them do this, that the endings run right into the next section and it creates this big churning loop that's really wonderful. There's no other feel quite like it out there in all of music. I think. So spend a lot of time rewinding, play this with me, I'm a little bit of a slower tempo. When you get feeling good about it, go look up Michael McGoldrick's version of it and play it with him, because that's how I learned it, and it's totally thrilling. Then all of us can say that we've played with the great McGoldrick and it will be the, uh, the highlight of our day, <laughs> at least of mine. All right, well, I hope you love the tune. I certainly do. As always, if it helps you to see sheet music for this sort of thing, I can't guarantee it's not gonna look really confusing for a slip jig, but I'll give it to you anyway. I send out sheet music as a special uh, perk for people who are subscribed to my email newsletter. And if you go to my website, www.mariblack.com, uh, and sign up for the newsletter, in your newsletter every month, you'll get the sheet music, my uh, chicken scratch handwriting, for the tune of the month, this and uh, all future forthcoming tunes of the month. Um, I guess that's it, and I will see you guys next month. Bye.